if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've seen all the hype the past few years about, you know, Canva templates here, Canva templates there. I quit my job to travel and sell Canva templates, whatever, okay? It's still very profitable and a very popular thing to do in 2023. So if you have ever thought about selling templates or digital products at all made with Canva, but you really don't know where to start and you don't even know what's popular or anything, then this video is for you. But if you have never seen me before, my name is Megan. I am so happy to have you here. I talk about all things Etsy and I do a lot of Canva tutorials and a lot of fun things and I like to be fun about it. So if you like today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button below. And if you've got any questions or anything, drop them in the comment section because I wanna do my best to help you out on your journey wherever you're at. So make sure to let me know what you would like to see next and if you have any questions or anything. So just as a backstory, I started using Canva back in 2018. <laughs> I started a blog in 2018 and I actually was able to rank a lot of articles on Google and I was constantly pinning stuff on Pinterest and using Canva to create these pins and I fell in love with Canva and I've been paying for Canva Pro ever since 2018. Um, if you currently don't use Canva Pro, but you want to try it out for free for 30 days, make sure you check out the link in my description box because I always have a free 30 day trial for all of my awesome subscribers and whoever's watching this, if you want to try it out. But back to, back to my story, my experience with Canva, the blog failed, went through a lot of stuff. And in 2020, I was like, you know what? I can sell Instagram templates because I bought some Instagram templates one time for that first blog that I had and it just like hit me one morning when I woke up. So I created some templates on Etsy. Um, I got like 200 sales in like no time and I started this YouTube channel to teach other people how to do the same thing. So printables, like I said, any kind of printables, any kind of digital products, they are still popular. They are not going anywhere as long as the internet's a thing. And as long as like iPads and digital planning are things, they're not going anywhere. I want to go into detail on 20 ideas for printables and digital products that you can make super easily. Some of these I have already created like years back in Canva tutorials. So I will link that playlist up here and in the description box below. Um, but make sure you take a look at that because that will give you some ideas. And even though Canva is not the same as it was in 2020 or 2021, even last year. But yeah, I want to go over these different ideas with you and show you how to identify whether these are good ideas or bad ideas, how to validate those ideas using um, a keyword research tool. The one I use is E-Rank. A lot of people use Marmalade. But for this video, I'm going to use E-Rank. Sorry about my parents' dogs barking. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first digital product that we're going to take a look at right now is the ADHD planner. This is something that I have <laughs> that I have had in mind for a really long time and as of right now at the end of March when I'm filming this, the Etsy competition has gone up a little bit, I think because it's kind of been known that this is a trending product, but as you can see everything is still in the green, so if you are making it as of the time I'm filming this, you should be good to go. Let's go into this star seller or a bestseller. This one's a bestseller, and we will take a look at this. Made by an adhd -er. Um, This is really nice, and if we keep scrolling over, it's got the Daily Planner, the Habit Builder, the Year at a Glance, um, Daily Planner. It's also got this really fancy brain dump, which I like, Getting Shit Done. That's a good one, too. Um, there's a lot of good stuff with this one. So an ADHD planner, as of the time I'm filming this, is good. I know I said a few minutes ago a disclaimer on, <laughs> on kind of that you need to do your research first. So make sure you do your research first before you just go blindly into this. But I really like these ADHD planners. So the second digital product that I was going to talk about was a goal setting planner. But when I looked it up, um, the stats weren't the same as when I made my blog post initially. So I had to scroll through a little bit and I found Christian planner. Um, this is not my expertise, even though I definitely grew up in like a Southern Baptist, like Bible thumping family and small town in the South. Um, but the stats on this one are pretty good. And as you can see, according to E-Rank, it's really going up um, in the search trend. So 
anything that goes up like this is a really good thing. And since everything is in the green, even though the average searches is in light green, that's a very good sign. So if we go over here and type in Christian Planner, I've actually never looked this up before. So we'll see what Christian Planner what Christian Planner means. Digital Planner. So I think this is just like a Bible study planner. Um, Christian Faith Digital Planner and Digital Sticker Bundle for Good Notes. Um, let's take a look here. Planners and Stickers. Okay. Three Nail Faith. That's kind of cute if you're into this kind of stuff. Um, digital planning, everything bundle, some instructions, all sticker kits. And yeah, I think this is just like a Bible planner. Yeah, scripture writing plans. So if you are into Bible studying and into like Bible related things, Christian planners are on the rise. As of the time I'm making this, they're really good. If you know how to do like the scripture writing and you know kind of how to do the Bible planning, then this is this is wonderful. Okay, so another digital product that I was actually going to talk about in this video was Undated Digital Planner. So as you can see, everything is in the green except the Etsy competition, and the Etsy competition is honestly a little wacky over here on the search trend. So anytime you see keyword stats like this on E-Rank and you scroll down a little bit, it's going to give you a lot of different options. So for the last planner, we can go with something... Um, Something like Good Notes Planner, that's a little vague in my opinion. Um, you could make stuff that is, you know, targeted toward that keyword, but I feel like that's a little vague. Academic Planner, okay, Academic Planner might be a good one. So let's take a look at Academic Planner, and we will also pull this up on Etsy in just a second. Okay, so yeah, keyword stats look pretty good. The competition is really low. So Academic Planner looks like it might be a good one. Let's go ahead and type in... Uh, academic planner on Etsy and see what comes up. So I'm obviously not in school. Um, I'm in my 30s. It's obviously not too late to go back to school, but school just is not my thing. So this is not, this is also not in my forte, but if we click on this one, this is a really good one. This is a best selling academic planner and it's got the weekly student plan. Um, it's got Sunday and Monday starts. It comes with a lot of different stickers. And basically for these um, academic planners, you just need like upcoming deadlines. You need a section for assignments and then like a calendar and then you should be good. It's really easy to make and there's always going to be a need for academic planners because there's always going to be people who are even in high school and want to do stuff like this. Um, Obviously, people in college, in like basic classes, it's easy for them to keep up with everything when they have some kind of digital planner like this. So academic planners are always going to be good. Now, you may have to do keyword research because academic planner itself might be a saturated keyword to target, but this is always going to be really useful. Okay, moving on to trackers. So weight loss tracker is something that is always, always, always going to be applicable. There are always going to be people who are looking to lose weight or who are looking to make weight loss fun. I am a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach outside of this. And trust me, there's always going to be people who are looking for like weight loss trackers and for ways to keep up with that and make it fun and easy. So if we go over here to Etsy, I've already got weight loss tracker typed in and honestly, anything goes. You can make it as simple as something like this, but I mean, you can make it as simple as you want. You can make it one page and make it, you know, to where you can color these in, or you can do this 30 page planner bundle to do it. I know a lot of people a lot of people might even like to do it like this as far as making um, an Excel sh spreadsheet or Google Sheets, but weight loss is always going to be a good option. All right, so still on the topic of trackers. This one is for people who have menstrual cycles, okay? <laughs> Period trackers. These are also always going to be applicable. There are always going to be people who are, you know, at some point in their cycle and people want to track it as good as possible because there's a lot of different methods to track it. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. And so this is always going to be a go-to thing. So when you look up period tracker on Etsy, so many things come up. You can do something as big as this 26 page thing. You can do something as simple as this like basic printable tracker. Okay. Really it's endless. 
Okay, so switching subjects now, we're going to talk about printable wall art. If you have not seen my printable wall art video, it is up here, and I will also link it in the description box below because there's so many different types of wall arts you can make instead of just like general printable stuff for like nurseries or whatever. World map wall art is really good. Now, as far as making it printable, that's kind of an interesting topic because I don't know how to make printable world map wall art, but... If you want to go after this one, then be my guest. I really like world map wall art. So stats are good here. And if you look it up on Etsy, like I said, most of the stuff is like actual um, like wood type stuff and stuff that has to be shipped to you. But if you can do this printable world map, that one's good. Um, let's see. Here's another printable one. Here's another printable one. There are ways to do it. So this is a really popular one. Okay, another interesting type of printable wall art is bar cart wall art. When I saw this, I was like, what in the world is this? And even though the searches aren't in the dark green, um, this is good enough to target in my opinion. So bar cart wall art is basically like cutesy stuff like this of different like alcohols and you can make it as colorful as you want. This one's really cute even though it's black and white. Happy hour stuff. Um... I personally don't like to drink, but I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people like stuff like this, so um, it's kind of like throwback, but I really like it, and it's a it's a good niche. People, people aren't completely giving up alcohol anytime soon, trust me. All right, next topic is going to be um, different templates. So instead of just creating social media templates, there are other templates that you can create on Canva. And one of them that honestly a lot of people don't know about that I found out about recently was Canva website templates. You can actually create website templates with Canva and you can get them self-hosted or just host them through Canva. Um, the competition on this is still really low as of right now. Um, and if you go to Etsy and type in Canva website template, there's like a website template for everything. Now, I wouldn't sell a just like generalized Canva website template. I would sell it for a specific niche, um, whether that's like real estate people or, you know, interior design, handmade gifts, jewelry, whatever. You can create the templates um, for these Canva websites and sell them. And $15 is a steal. When I first looked at this, um, they were selling for like $30. So... I would sell it for more than 15 but that's just me. However, definitely look into the Canva website templates because that's a thing. Okay, so this one is talked about a lot, but I'm going to cover it anyways. An ebook template is always going to be good to go. Um, there's always people searching for templates to create ebooks for whatever niche they're in. And if you go to Etsy, I'm actually not even going to pull it up. I'm just going to talk about it on E-Rank. There are a ton of different ebook templates that you can use, a ton of different ebook templates that you can make from scratch. Super easy to make, and um, they actually go for like $20 each, so that is not bad at all. And to go along with an ebook, especially if you're a coach of some sort, a workbook is always a good thing if you want your clients to actually like do work instead of just reading some kind of ebook. Um, it's kind of the same thing as an ebook, it's very similar. Um, again, this is also at a higher price range, almost $17 per pop on average. So this is always going to be popular, especially, like I said, if you're some kind of coach and or you already sell ebooks, this is really good. Okay, so kind of on the topic of ebooks and workbooks is worksheets. So preschool curriculum worksheets are obviously on the rise. There's a lot of people who are like unschooling their kids and going to homeschool types of curriculum. Um, and even if your kid, like even if you want to send your kid to public school, preschool curriculum stuff is really good. There's a lot of different options that you can um, do for preschool curriculum worksheets before your kids go to school. I'm not going to show it on Etsy because I don't have any kids. This is not something that is my <laughs> neck of the woods by any means, but the trend is has pretty much been going up for a while since 2021, and the numbers aren't bad at all. Um, so yeah, this is good if you know you like homeschooling, you like teaching, and that sort of thing. And another type of worksheet that is really high in demand right now as of filming this video is paint by numbers. Paint by numbers, color by numbers, that's, you know, very relaxing for people's mental health. So these are always going to be good options. And the price is uh, not bad, $25, 
Um, let's see what paint by number... This might be something that has to be shipped to you. Okay, see, most of this stuff has to be shipped, but, um... You could always do, like, a printable, like this one, printable kit. That's not bad. Um, I would absolutely not sell it for two thirty seven. dollars so if whoever created this is watching this, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to, like, rain on your parade. Um, that's why you need a tool like E-Rank or Marmalade to tell you what the pricing is for that. Because even if it's a printable, you should price it way more than two thirty seven. dollars But, like I said, you can do the printable option with the paint by number and sell it for sell it for a nice little penny okay another type of list that i've actually made a tutorial on before is a grocery list so the etsy competition on this one has gotten a lot higher since i you know created that tutorial like two or three years ago but as i've said plenty of times in this video anything to do with your health and making it fun is going to be a good thing now you may have to niche down and do like a keto grocery list i hate the keto diet i'm not a fan of it but that might be a good option instead of just a plain grocery list you'll have to do the research on it but grocery lists are typically good to go all right and the last checklist that i wanted to talk about before we move on to another topic of digital products is the cleaning checklist. Cleaning checklists are also something that are not going away because people are always going to want to keep their house tidier, especially when it comes to the new year. They're like, oh, new year, new me. I'm going to keep everything clean, do whatever. And as you can see, that's the case because in January, there were a lot of searches and in February, it kind of fell off. So at certain times of the year, cleaning checklists are going to be more popular than others, but these are super easy to make. Um, they're always going to be in demand. And if we uh, check on Etsy right here, there's a lot you can do. This takes like five minutes to make and you can sell it. Not going anywhere. Always a good idea. Okay, so on to our last little section which is social media products these are not actual printables they're just made for you know digital use is a media kit template so a media kit template is really popular because you know the whole influencer thing has blown up over the past few years and basically a media kit is a resume for influencers so as long as the influencer industry is still booming and people you know are making brand deals left and right this is going to be a good thing. Um, they usually sell for closer to $10, and if you can create a good template, people are going to keep buying it, and people are going to use it. You can actually even use some of these media kit templates as a resume instead of a media kit if you don't do, like, brand deals and you're trying to get, like, a different 9 to 5. So these can be useful for a couple different purposes. Obviously, since social media is not going anywhere, even though everyone wants to ban TikTok, whatever, social media content planners are not going anywhere, okay? Like I said, as long as there's influencers, as long as there's still Facebook, as long as there's still Instagram, even YouTube, you can use a social media content planner for a lot. I don't know why it's not selling for any higher than $6.99, but I mean, these are really easy to make. So let me see social media content planner and you can make them undated instead of like for 2022 or 2023 um done for you social media content that's not a bad idea either but what specifically i was looking for was something like this content planner or digital social media planner um this is 613 i don't know why these are priced so low i wouldn't ever price them that low but you do you whatever um, this one's pretty good. There's a lot of options when it comes to social media content planner. And honestly, you can niche down into like a YouTube planner or a podcast planner because YouTube and podcasting aren't going anywhere. And I would show you the, you know, keyword stats for YouTube planner and podcast planner. But if you, you know, are aware of anything going on, those platforms aren't going anywhere. So those are always wonderful options. Okay, so hopefully you've learned a little bit about what sells on Etsy versus what doesn't. And you've learned a little bit about how to use E-Rank and validate your ideas on E-Rank. So if you have any questions or anything and you're still watching this, please make sure um, you drop those in the comment section. Also, give me a big thumbs up before you leave. And I hope to see you again soon.